Hey, Shalom family, Most High in Christ, bless Officer Abishai with IUIC Indiana. Hey, we need y'all to subscribe. Subscribe to our Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube, our Twitter. Let's get them numbers up and give us a like on the video. Most High Christ, bless. Right? Because they know once God's people start keeping the commandments, they kingdom going diminish right, right. so their job is to keep you in sin keep keep you eating unclean foods right. keep you uh uh fornicating right. now let me ask you something y'all got teenagers in your church right do y'all got pregnant uh pregnant teenagers in your church is it why are you laughing is it pregnant teenagers in your church it is isn't it that's because they're not following the commandments of god right. they, they're not teaching the commandments Bring it out. god is against fornication it's supposed to be marriage in the church, right? All right, so let's show you real quick. Give me a, read, read what you got. Read, we're going to show you what's right, and we're going to go and show you Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 13 and verse 18. When thou shalt hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God to keep all his commandments. It says to keep all his commandments, because that's what's missing in the black and Hispanic community. The commandments of God. Read. Which I command thee this day uh -huh. to do that which is right in the eyes of the Lord thy God. You see that? It says to do that which is right in the eyes of the Lord thy God. Right. So what is right according to God? Keeping his commandments. Right. What is right? A sister dressed in modest. Right. What is right? You have men marrying the women. Right. That's right. Right. Not being the midst of fornication and stuff like that in the church. Right. So what's right is keeping the commandments of God. Right. Right. So, you ever heard of Sabbath day? Because we're gonna show you, we're gonna show you how to live right according to God. Bring it out. So you ever your church ever taught you about the Sabbath day? You don't know about the Sabbath day? Give me Exodus 20. We'll start there first and we we'll dive into it. Well, God commanded the children of Israel. That we should keep the Sabbath day holy. That's right? right? The Sabbath day is what day? Is it the first day? The second day? You, you familiar? Let's find out. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 20 and verse 8. Uh -huh. Remember the Sabbath day. It says, remember the Sabbath day. Before we go there, jump up. Jump up to verse 1. Jump up to verse 1. Exodus chapter 20 verse 1. And God spake all these words said, saying. God spake all these words saying. I am the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. Which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the house of bondage. It said which brought you out of the land of Egypt. Right. Who did, who did God deliver out of Egypt? What group of people was that? Teach. Teach. Huh? What about you familiar with the story with Moses. How he split the Red Sea. What group, what group of people was that? You're not sure? That just shows they're not teaching the people in church. That just shows they're not teaching the people. But it's okay. You came to the right place today. You came to the right place. We're going to show you God's Sabbath days. We're going to show you God's commandments. Go to verse 8. Let's get to it. Verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day. It said, remember the Sabbath day. To keep it holy. It said, to keep it holy. To keep the Sabbath day holy. So now it's going to go into how to keep the Sabbath day holy. Right? Read. Six days shall thou labor. It said six days shall thou labor. Right? So you can do, you got six days to do your work, so on and so forth. Right? Read. And do all thy work. Uh-huh. But the seventh day. But the seventh day. The seventh day is what? Is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. It says is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Why? Because when you read in Genesis... God created the earth all in six days. And on the seventh day, he rested. That's right. So he hallowed the seventh day, which is the Sabbath day. Now, so what's the seventh day? That's the key. What is the seventh day? Bring it up. Is, is that what's the seventh day? Because they set up church to go on Sunday. So is Sunday the, the seventh day? No, it's Sabbath, it which up. is seven. According to uh, the scripture. So the seventh day is Saturday. Right. Going into Friday sundown, Saturday sundown. Right. That's the seventh day. Somebody got a Zondervan Bible dictionary? What? Somebody got a Zondervan out here? Okay. Somebody look up what is Sunday. Somebody look up Sunday for me. Because the Bible is saying the seventh day. 
right? So we're going to find out, is it actually the seventh day? Because you got six days to do your work. But give me a Deuteronomy chapter 4. So why do they why do they worship and go to church on Sunday? Do, give me Deuteronomy 4 and 19. Because I'm going to show you something. It's no coincidence they do that. Bring it out. When they, when they go to church on Sunday, they're worshiping other gods. Yes, and what they're doing, they're teaching you to do the same. Yes. But God separated us from the other nations. Right? Read what you got. 4 and 19. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4 and verse 19. Yeah. And lest thou lift up thine eyes unto heaven. It says, and lest, lest, and lest, read it again. And, 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 and lest thou lift up thine eyes unto heaven. It said, lest you lift up your eyes to heaven, right? Because what's in the heaven? You got the stars, the moon, the sun, so on and so forth, right? Read. And when thou seest the sun. It says, when thou seest the sun. And the moon. And the moon. And the stars. So all these different ornaments that's in the sky, right? Read. Even all the hosts of heaven. It said, even all the hosts of heaven. Should it be driven to worship them. Meaning, we shouldn't be driven to worship these things. Right. When they worship on Sunday, they worship in the sun God. Right. They, they worship in, I bet this image right here is in your church. Bring it this up. image right here. Who is that? Who, what image is that? See, uh, who, 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 do they, who do they call this man right here? Bring it out. Who is that that the world knows as? Bring it out, Doc. You don't know? Come on, sis. You know who that is. Bring it out. It, 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 ain't, it ain't really him, but we know who they who they portray it to be. Right, right. Who they portray it to be? Jesus Christ. Right. That's who they portray it to be. But we're going to show you that's a lie as well. Because that's not Jesus Christ. That's the Antichrist. That's, right. that's the devil that the Bible speaks of. Right. Christ looked nothing like that. That's right. But what I'm showing you is they teaching our people their ways. Right. right? Listen up. Read on. Finish on. Even all the hosts of heaven uh -huh. should be driven to worship them uh -huh. and serve them. We shouldn't be serving them. We shouldn't be going to church on Sunday serving these other gods. Right. Why? Because we got our one true God, which is the God of Israel. Yes. But we have not known that. Read. Which the Lord thy God has divided unto all nations. You see that? He divided all that stuff to the other nations. Right. Not right. to the children of Israel. Right. He, didn't, he didn't get us to, us to go worship the sun, the moon, the stars. Right. Ra, a false image of Christ. Right. Right. Because you know what comes with that image? Christmas. Bring right. it out. Easter. Right. Our people about to get ready for Halloween. Bring it out. Huh? That comes with that image. God didn't give us that to worship that. We shouldn't be driven to worship these things, right? Read. Under the whole heaven. It says under the whole heaven. Why? Because they're going to set up different gods under the whole heaven to try to get the children of Israel to worship them. Right. That's and that's what they be doing. But uh, You can drop that. What is Sunday? Read what you got. Read, read exactly what it is. The Zondervan Bible. This is the Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary. Uh -huh. Look it out. Sunday. This is the Zondervan Bible Dictionary is saying Sunday. Read. First day of the week. You see that? Sunday is the first day of the week. Right. It's the first day of the week. God tells us to keep the Sabbath holy. Then if Sunday is the first day of the week, why do they got our people celebrating on Sunday like it's the seventh day? Right. Why? Because they want you to serve other gods. Right. They don't want you to keep the commandments of God. Why? Because it's power and keeping the commandments of God. Yes, you know what it is? Give me um that's it on that? Yes, sir. Give me a Deuteronomy. Stay in Deuteronomy. Give me four. Chapter four, and I think verse five. Or it's five and four. Well, you know why they don't want you to keep the commandments? Because if we start keeping the commandments, it's gonna be a new phenomenon in the earth. Right, right, right. Just imagine you get a, a but a group of, of black people in one area. You get a group of black people in one area, and there's no fighting. There, there's no shooting. There's no killing. They just coming together in righteousness. You know that would be a new thing on the earth? Why? Because when black people come together, we always fight. We always argue amongst each other. We can't get along. We're ready to, uh, to, to backbite each other. You know what I'm saying? So when we keep the commandments of God, the other nations fear that thing. Why don't you celebrate Christmas no more? Why don't you do the things you used to. Why you don't have girlfriends no more? They get afraid of that. Read. 
The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4 and verse 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments. The Bible says God has taught us statutes and judgments. God gave us laws. He gave us traditions. He gave us uh, customs. He gave us all these things that we're supposed to keep. But through this, we lost it. it Through slavery, we lost it. All this was stripped from us. What you know what they did? They gathered us up, put us on them boats, and once we got off on the boats, it was free game. Right. They could do whatever they wanted to do to us. Meaning they could teach us their, their religion. They could teach us their ways. They could teach us their customs. They could teach us all these things like we were some animal to the point we will forget. Right. Read. Even as the Lord my God commanded me, uh-huh. that ye should do so. In the land where you go to possess it. It says we should do so in the land where we go to possess it. This land that we're in, this is America. This is our land of captivity. Right. We're supposed to be keeping the commandments. Right. Read. Keep, therefore, and do them. It says keep, therefore, and do them. Read. For this is your wisdom. It says this is your wisdom. The commandments of God is our wisdom and understanding. Read. And your understanding uh-huh. in the sight of the nation. You see that? In the sight of the nation. So if we was keeping the commandments, they're going to be like, there ain't something different with these black people. Right. They're not, you know? they not fighting amongst each other no more. Right. Right. They they taking care of their children now. You know what? I just had to take a whole race of black people off child support. Right. Right. Why? Because they start taking care of their children. Right. They start doing all these things. It says this is our wisdom. So what we're missing in the black and Hispanic community is the commandments of God. That's, right. That's what we're missing. But we don't know who our God is. Is it more than that? Yes, sir. Real. Which shall hear all these statutes and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. You see that? The Bible is saying we start doing these things. That's what the nations would see. But they don't. do they look at us as great and wise? Don't get me wrong. They want to be like us. You know, they want to they want to jump like us, sing like us. They want minds like us. They, they want melanin in their skin like us. Yeah, they, they want all these things. Right. But, you know, something they don't want. They don't want your condition. They don't want your poverty. You know, they don't want that. But they know we're the greatest people. But what made us fall low is breaking the commandments. We got to come back to keeping God's laws. That's right. But we don't, we got to start out. We don't even know our God. Drop that. Give me Jeremiah chapter Whoa. four. See, John. Jeremiah chapter four. Let's, let's see what God said to us. Jeremiah chapter four and verse 22. I believe that. That's what I want. 22. The book what, what's Jer- going on, my brother? How you doing? You familiar with the Israelites? I'm familiar. You familiar? You know you're an Israelite? No, I didn't know. Now, listen, this, this is for us. This is for God's people. Listen to what God said about his people. 422. Yeah. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 4, verse 22. For my people is foolish. God says, my people is foolish. Who is God's people? Us. Who is us? Black people. Black people, right? Blacks and Hispanics who are the Israelites. We are God's people. That's biblical proof. We are God's people. Read. They have not known me. You see that? The Bible says we have not known our God. We have not known our God. We know Allah. We, we know, uh, our people know the Buddhists. Right. Our people know uh, all these different, all these other different gods, right? But the Bible says, my people have not known me. So who is God? Who is, who is God? Who is our God? Do, do you know my brother? You know who God is? What about you, my sister? Who is God? So what we reading is the true fact Letting us know that the Bible is a true book because it says this. Read it from the top again. For my people is foolish. God says his people is foolish. We don't have no understanding. Read. They have not known. You see that? We don't even know who our God is. We don't know who our God is. Everybody else can tell you who they worship, but we don't know. Read. They are son as children. God says we are sodish. Y'all know what sodish means? Teach us. It means we are dumb. Now, we are very, we are very smart people. But why are we dumb? 
because we allow to learn from the people that oppressed us. Right. We'll we'll believe of people that that stripped our heritage from us. Right. You know. We'll we'll trust in a people that show time after time that they can't be trusted. They show us that, but we still trust them. That's why God says we are stupid. We are sadish. What's another reason? He gave the world to us. All we got to do is keep the commandments, but we choose not to. God saying we are sadish. Read. They are sadish children. Uh -huh. They have none understanding. We don't have no understanding. Why? Because we're supposed to be keeping the commandments. We the Israelites. Read. They are wise to do evil. It says we are wise to do evil. Wise to do evil. Look, look at the so-called black people today. We got high crime rates. Right. We, we be quick to uh, sell drugs in our community, but we can't even pass a damn chemistry class. Right. We, are, we are wise to do evil. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.